Hey, hey Jesse. Hey. Hey, Chip. So you got your uh, your mic with you? Yeah, I got my own PA system hmm. per sample flyer. How many watts is that? Is ten watt? It's something like that. It's like I think it's eleven, but that's not really important. It's uh, it's more it's more just the look. So you've been doing a lot of uh, a lot of stand up. Yeah, yeah. Um. Uh, we we uh, we we were both hosting comedy stand-up comedy shows uh, at different venues. Um, they both got canceled. Uh, go ahead and do your set. Okay. And how much how much time do I have? One thing about me is I'm a woman, and I have been my whole life. And one thing about being a woman is uh, sometimes we get hit on, uh, and and I, I don't like getting hit on at work. And I've noticed that women in relationships uh, don't get hit on as much as single women. And another thing about me is I'm single. So that's why I've been giving myself bruises so people think I have a boyfriend. Because I don't need a man to teach me a lesson. <laughs> okay. All right. I'm, a, I'm an independent lady. And, you know, I take care of myself. Because one day I want to look back and say, you know what? I'm a top shelf bitch. So that's what I'm working towards. And something I'm actively doing to better myself is I'm trying to quit smoking. Because smoking is a, it's, a, it's, it's just a bad habit. It's poison. And I, one thing I, I don't like about this experience is when people ask me, Hey, hey Je Jesse, oh, why'd you stop smoking cigarettes? You know, all my friends are Jewish. And I don't like that question because I thought it was pretty widely accepted that tobacco was a tumor-causing, teeth-staining, smelly, puking habit. And not to mention, it really makes your, ha your hands smell bad. And um, so there's just a lot of cons to it. I don't know if you've heard, but it's, it's really not good for you. And so that's one thing. And another thing I'm, I'm actively trying to do all the time is, is get ahead of the ahead of the curve with uh, dietary and nutrition and I, I've noticed uh, I've gone through a lot of different milk products like whole milk for instance whole whole cow milk cow milk is a is a is a product if we really think about it for baby cows to get bigger and I'm an adult human and I'm fully grown so I don't need to get any bigger and not to mention all the hormones they pump into it to make seven-year-olds start their period so I've skipped the cow milk and I went to soy milk it was great for a while until I found out that soy is a genetically modified product and it has a ton of estrogen in it and links to long-term autism so I said let's not do the soy so I go to almond milk tastes great it's easy to find it's not a sustainable product. So now I'm three milks down. I just don't drink milk anymore. I'm drinking water, water in my cereal. But I can't just drink any water because tap water, who knows what's in that? Not to mention it tastes like garbage. So you go to bottled water. But you got to be careful with the bottled water too because it's owned by corporations that trickle up to just about four people who own just about everything. And they don't give a fuck about your health. And so, you you know, these big corporations are what bother me about uh, vegetables because they own those too. So now I'm just not eating or drinking anything and cigarettes are starting to look pretty fucking good. So Halloween's coming up. My season, the seasons change, but my jokes don't. So <coughs> Halloween's coming up. And my friends want to go with Millie Vanilli, which raises the question, do they go in blackface? And of course I say no. That's offensive. Just don't do it. But they're, you know, liberals, Obama's America, think anything fucking goes. So they say, Jesse, we're going to go and ask all of our black friends, and they did, and he said no. It's a joke about white friends uh, having one black friend. So that's my set. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you contribute to Indiegogo, and just don't drink the milk. Why? Spoiled.